Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we helped some goblins get back on their feet, and we also slayed some harpies. And today, we are in Venom Spite. Let's have a chat here with High Executor Roth. Speak quickly. You were sent from Agmar's Hammer. It's about time. No, the help is not for me. I simply have no one else to spare. But you'll do. I received a request for help from our base in Grizzly Hills. I'm sending you to see Conqueror Krenna. The High Executor waves a sheaf of parchment in the air as if he could care less what is written on it. She's attempting to secure all of the natural resources or some such. Just watch your back around her. The word is that she's aggressive even for an orc. Follow the road east and then southeast across the bridge at the Dragon's Mind Gerbituary and go east to the Evergreen Trading Post. Alright, well that's uh, that's sending us to Grizzly Hills. So eventually, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll turn that in. I am forsaken. Let's check out this quest here. Blighted Last Rites. Have you read the Wanted poster? What is the High Executor thinking? Vicky looks around and continues in hushed tones. We can't very well have the Scarlet Onslaught idiots being raised by their priests. Or worse, rising as the Scourge now, can we? No, I'm in total agreement with you. We have to do something about the corpses. I have just a thing. Take this blight that we created and test it on the prisoner in the cage right here. No muss, no fuss, no returning enemies. Beware. Our enemies abound. Okay, so here's the Scarlet Onslaught prisoner. The prisoner moans, but seems otherwise unaffected by the blight. What will you require? What? That's impossible. We've perfected the blight. It has a 100% lethality. The apothecary wrings her hands concern across the unliving visage. Clearly frustrated, she continues in an angry tone. This is just really odd. Hand me that flask mage. I'm not going to be known as the apothecary that ruined everything. Victory for Silver. Let them not rise. I don't understand. The blight should have worked. No sense worrying about it now. The apothecary seems relieved for some reason. Though it doesn't work on the onslaught for some strange reason, we still need to keep their priests from raising them. I have another idea, one that their corpses shouldn't have any protection from. Travis, take a container of my rats, unleash them upon the onslaught corpses you have come across at New Hearthclan. I starve the vermin, so they should be voracious. Dark lady so he got turned into a, a ooze. Oops, I guess it is working. That's odd. Wanted the Scarlet Onslaught. By order of the High Executor Roth, all members of the illegal organization known as the Scarlet Onslaught are to be put to death immediately. No quarter is to be offered, and those proceeding to action upon this decree should be aware that any who are captured by the humans will be left to die or worse. The High Executor words, paint the snow red with their blood. Alright, so I guess we are going to have to uh, light the Scarlet Onslaught. Seems like there's another quest here to get their weapons. What is it? Beware the Material living. plunder. Ah, good. New meat. Do you wish to prove yourself new meat? The Scarlet Onslaught, the most zealous and racist of the Scarlet Crusade, are in our backyard to the south. If we're going to fight them, we'll need more armor and weapons than I can make in such a short time. Why don't we take theirs? More to the point, why don't you take theirs? Beware. Our enemy is about. Funding the war effort. The quartermaster lowers his voice and whispers to you, Mage, I need your help. The coffers are empty. The Corcoran Vanguard at the Wrathgate has taken all of our coin for the fight there. But I've heard whispers that there's a treasure to be had amongst the wrecks of the Forgotten Shore to the southeast. We have to do something soon, or we won't be able to continue the fight against the Scarlet Onslaught. Well, war isn't cheap, you know. Alright, so there we go. We got a bunch of quests. And it's all going to be focused on the Scarlet Onslaught. Supposedly they are very racist. Which makes sense, you know. They do seem to not trust, uh, 
really anybody, even their own kind. <laughs> Alright, so let's slay some of these guys here. And we have to, uh... Dump some rats in. This is an invalid target? There we go. That's pretty nasty. We have to slay these, uh... These ones on horseback? Doesn't look like it. for Scarlet Onslaught armor. I guess some of these will end up dropping and maybe we have to actually go. There's some armor right there. Let's see what happens here when we, uh, we group a bunch of them up. I'm going to eat some of this. And we'll get some buffs going. some mana back. We'll try grouping up a bunch. We'll see how, if we can AoE these these people down here. Here's another one. You can see him there. There we go. Looks like a pretty good group so far. Let's see how this goes. Go. You can see the whenever we get a crit, a lightning bolt goes out. It's from our uh, our trinket. All right, so let's get the rats out. <laughs> eaten by rats. Well, they're already dead, I guess, but who knows? Maybe they're not. Looks like rats don't eat horses, only, uh, only humans. Nice, let's group up a bunch here. Let's try to get the, me the melee ones. I can get this person here as well. Let's try to keep them all together. Oh, no. Kind of hit a little too much there. Hopefully, we don't need to use a mana pop, but we might have to. Maybe we will. We'll just use one just to be safe. Fight this one here. This one got wrecked. Raven here. Was that like a raven mage? Be better if this quest, like, you know, like you just could slay a bunch of them and then just let the rats loose. And then it would just count up all of the corpses that are around the area. It does take kind of a while, you know, where you like slay it on an entire pack. Got an executioner there. I guess we'll fight some more. While we're like waiting.
He doesn't count. Oh, there we go. Alright, so there's a decent amount of armor here. There's the executioner. Let's try to find. Yeah, this area should have a bunch of armor. Should probably go back now. Make sure we get the rats out here before all these corpses start to disappear. There's a bunch of blacksmiths in here. Maybe we'll bring them around back. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight them in here. Pet has aggro. Okay, there's the rat. Rats are, are fed. Let's have another mana here. It's kind of cool when you see the lightning brock. It's pretty good for the AoE holes because higher chance of getting crits, right? We need weapons and armor, and we need to slay three more members. And there's another one. Oh, they're gonna slay an undead. They're gonna cut his head off. It's terrible. Hopefully we can do a blizzard under here. Yeah, we can. Nice. Look, he's gonna get away. He's walking away. He saved his life. I wonder where he's going. He's going back into the keep. <laughs> I wonder if there's actually a scenario or a scene where they where he actually like gets his head cut off. Like look at that that gruesome uh part right here. There's like a couple of bodies hanging. I wonder if it's undead. They look like just regular humans. It's only in China. Actually the game actually I think World of Warcraft's not in in China anymore, but when it was, things like this wouldn't be in the game. Yeah, I think they banned, yeah, World of Warcraft's not in China anymore. Servers got shut down, which is kind of a shame. Do you imagine collecting, like, all those rare mounts, like Invincible and every all that stuff? And uh, the server just gets shut down? That'd be terrible. Alright, we're getting some weapons here. Let's keep her falling. Get this guy too. Nice, got a crit right away. Oh, 
Alright, well, we're on a search for more armor. I'm gonna dismiss our pet here. We'll just fly around and hopefully find what we want to find. I'm gonna make a little bit of food too. Been having a little bit of trouble with uh, like deliveries coming to my pl my place. Like usually Amazon, they always just drop it off. It's like a first world problem. <laughs> it's like not really a problem, but it's uh, like pretty much other delivery companies or couriers. They're told supposedly they're told by you know like a, a big box store like Best Buy or. Yeah, the retailer. Not to to drop the, the item off at the door. So what happens? Oh crap. Might be in trouble here. So what happens is uh they don't even really deliver the product. What they do is they just come to the door and just you know, give me a letter saying, come pick it up over here. It's happened to me like three times now. Is this guy stop healing? I don't even know what I'm doing here. So what I think you need to do, or what I was told I needed to do, was to tell them not to, you know, make it, a, tell them that they're allowed to deliver it at the door. Because what I think happens, I think the delivery driver doesn't even get out of his truck and like tries to like put the box at the door. They just go to the door as fast as they can, leave a letter, and then leave. That just tells you to go pick it up. And it really sucks because like I'm I I've been like I keep the door open. You know, there's a car in the driveway, and they somehow always just get away. Really, <laughs> it's like they really, they really don't. I think the way they look at it is they just say, you know, we're not going to deliver the product because we're told not to, right? Can't be, can't be at the door. So I really don't know what to think about it. You got to, and supposedly you can't tell the courier to leave it at the door. You got to tell the, the company that's shipping to tell the courier to to leave it what I, I was told. Because it is kind of annoying, you know, you you kind of, you, you expect the, the product to be, like, delivered. But then you have to, you end up having to always just go to to, like, a, a warehouse to pick it up. So the way I look at it is we should, I could just either tell, you know, the company to tell the courier to, 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 that they can drop the product off at the door or uh, just go, set it for the, to pick it up regardless because I probably would have had the product by now. Yeah, that's my little uh, little trouble that I'm having in my life. Not really a big deal. But it's interesting. And if you ever run into that problem, just tell them they can leave it at the door. Or just, just tell them to deliver it to the, the retailer. Because there's no point in getting upset about it. Just con it's just really confusing. That's when people usually get upset is when they're confused. Because they... Yeah. Because I'm like, why wouldn't they knock? Why wouldn't they, like, knock on the door or... It's because they're told not to. They're told just to leave a note telling me where to pick it up. The more you know. <laughs> it's 
armor quest is kind of a... It's, there's not a lot of spots. I think if we went back to where the blacksmith is, we'll probably find some more. I wonder if it spawns back again. And New Hearthclan, this is the place where they decided to settle after um, the Eastern Plaguelands got invaded. The Eastern and Western Plaguelands got invaded by the Scourge. And they were not going to get any help from the Alliance at all, so they decided that, hey, we have to um, leave and rebuild in Northern and then take the fight to the Scourge. Makes you wonder if the Scarlet Crusade would even exist if they got, you know, some help from the Alliance in Stormwind. They're kind of just abandoned. Oh, look at that. We found some armor there. Need one more after this. I guess it spawns back. There's another armor right there. All right, there we go. Let's head over here and we'll uh, get some of this forgotten treasure. I'll probably go to Grizzly Hills. It's a good zone. It's probably going to be the next place we go to. We will be 76 soon, so really the, the only zones we can really check out is Grizzly Hills, Enzel, Drac, maybe Shallows, our Basin will open up soon. A forgotten peasant. Hey, it's pretty hard. Nice, you got a crit there. I guess we'll get our water on the I need some. Oh, there's two here. Don't have a lot of mana. We're gonna have to use another mana pot. Another good thing about being a druid, you can actually swap to equip flight form in the water and actually like go to go into your flying mount. You can't even mount up in the water. Any 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 other class can't pretty much, unless they have water walking. So I guess DKs and shamans can. If they just put up water walking, then they can mount. But I believe it's different in retail. I think every class can just mount in the water in retail. That's something they they slowly got rid of was like class identity or just special things that some classes have over others. And now they're starting to uh, come back to that again. They did, started that in the Shadowlands by bringing back, you know, class only buffs and stuff like that. Oh, right here we can. There we go. Mount up. Let's chug another mana, why not? Yeah. 
Is there a treasure wrap in that right down there? See if we can mount up right here. Should be able to, as long as we can stand. There has to be some treasure around here. I don't know if there's any on the shore, so like there's got to be a few on the shore. There's one. Damn it. Too slow. I'm trying to use uh, Deep Freeze. Because you can get an extra Frost Bolt in and then Deep Freeze. While they're in Nova. And that allows you to get, like, you know, a few frost bolts for free. I think it's a guaranteed crit, too, right? Maybe. She knows not. Let's group up a couple of ghosts here. Wow, we got knocked off right now. Pretty damn good. coming. Alright, so there we go. Let's head on back. We'll turn all these quests in. Should give us a good chunk of XP. And I don't think we will be able to... Uh, there's an elite quest in here. We 100% we, we won't be able to do it. It's pretty tough. I think it's probably the toughest elite in all of uh, Dragon Blade. Tried fighting him on my rogue. Just get, got completely wrecked. <laughs> it would be cool to see like some Wrath of Lich King hardcore. That's what we'll probably eventually start to see once people get, you know, kind of bored of just good old crap. Like vanilla WoW business. hardcore. I'll take what armor and weapons you can steal for me, new meat. Though they'll be inferior quality to what I can make here. It's better than nothing. Trust no one. You do not smell so fresh now, new meat. Very well. All of this will do. By what name might I call you, mage? Embrace the shadow. How much of that Alliance treasure did you manage to get your hands on? Farewell. The Quartermaster gasps, but then his eyes narrow as he studies you for a moment. I trust that you didn't stash any of this on the side for yourself. You wouldn't be that selfish when the fate of Venom Spite is at stake. Besides, I'm going to reward you with a percentage of the take. It's not much, but in times like this, we all have to make sacrifices. All right, so I guess we'll take this ring. Watch your back. Yes. Oh, good. For a moment, I thought I was going to have to test the rats out on someone to make sure that they weren't effective. <laughs> okay. Another waste. I don't think we'll use that. So just go for the gold. Remember. Very well done, Undead. I trust that you were cleverly vicious in your slaying. Let's see how much I can offer you from the coffins. I'm, er, excuse me, coffers. Goodbye. Alright guys, so it looks like we have a couple of more quests here to do. 
and we will uh, get those done next episode and potentially make our way to Grizzly Hills. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.